When it comes to Star Wars collectors, most of us know the name Steven Sansweep, who has the world's biggest Star Wars collection that he keeps at Rancho Obi-Wan. If it was released, most likely Steven Sansweep has it. He would even become the head of public relations for Star Wars. But when it comes to rare vintage Star Wars toys that never got released, when it comes to those one-of-a-kind prototypes, first shots, or Star Wars movie props, or even Star Wars cereal boxes, there's only one name that comes to mind at the top of the vintage collecting hill, that is, Gus Lopez. That name might not be as well known as Steven Sansweep, but any vintage Star Wars Kenner collector knows the name. I first heard the name when it popped up almost daily on the vintage Star Wars collectors news groups, the home of most online collectors back in the 90s. If anyone had a question, Gus was there to help them out. In fact, Gus and his collector friends really went to work to database what was all released, not just by Kenner, but anything released under Star Wars. In the 90s, as Star Wars collecting was really starting to grow, it wasn't clear what was made, what was official, and what was unlicensed. We didn't even have an official source of what weapon came with each figure. Gus and a handful of other collectors started up the Star Wars Collector Database in 1994, the first vintage Star Wars collecting website on the internet. At first, it was found at ToysRGus.com. But after a brush with legal issues with Toys R Us, the database became known as the Star Wars Collector's Archive, or the SWCA.com. Gus, like many of us, saw Star Wars back in 1977, and it changed his life. It was more than just a movie, as his collecting Star Wars started even before the action figures got released. With trading cards, records, stickers, whatever has Star Wars on it, Gus would buy it. In the 90s, as Star Wars collecting really started to take off, and the action figure boom started, Gus found his knowledge was needed more than just on news groups and websites. He would pop up at conventions to talk Star Wars merchandise. And when it came to toy magazines and official Star Wars magazines, when they wanted an article about Star Wars merchandise, they often turned to Gus Lopez. His articles were appear in Star Wars Insider, on the official Star Wars website, Lee's Toy Review, Toy Shop, Action Figure News, Toy Fair, and almost any other collector magazine. In the 90s, when most of us was hoping to find loose, beat-up Star Wars figures at a yard sale, Gus and his collector friends were tracking down former Kenner employees, toy designers, or anyone that had knowledge of the history of the Star Wars merchandise, not just the action figures. Not only did this lead to great finds for his collection, from unreleased prototypes to first shots, but it also helped him learn a rich history of how things went from a drawing board to the toy stores. I'm often asked, how did you know that? When I make a video about some little known fact about old Kenner Star Wars toys, and 99% of the time the answer leads back to Gus Lopez. His vast knowledge of the subject is deep and impressive for sure, but it's clear to anyone that has ever heard Gus speak at a convention or read any of his articles. His tracking down Star Wars rarities and his knowledge isn't based on a greed to find fortune and glory. He collects because he loves Star Wars, and that's the best reason at all. And also, it seems he really loves cereal. And Gus is always there to help out a fellow collector. He's always quick to answer an email or even a social media post when someone that has a question that he's probably been asked a hundred times before. And I will admit I have blown up his email box before and he's always there to answer. Even if he's probably like, oh, that's that junk man asking me something again. But it's always great to know he's there to help me or any other fellow collector out. And if he can't help you, he'll tell you who can. Well, that's the collector spotlight as we look at the collection of Gus Lopez. I want to thank you for watching, and always thumb us and like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, jump <laughs> man, channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.